Hello students, welcome all to Guru Gedara English Medium Maths Revision Program. Today we are going to discuss graphs part 2, revision based on graph part 2. First have a look for our learning outcomes, what are the things going to identify and understand and learn learning outcomes, learning outcomes. By studying this lesson, you will able to find the solution to pair of simultaneous equations graphically. How to solve a pair of simultaneous equation graphically? There are two methods of solving a pair of simultaneous equations algebraic method and graphical method. In this program, we are going to discuss the graphical method. Next one, sketch the graphs of quadratic functions of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. This is the standard form of a curved line graph. How to define A? A is not equal to 0, A is a real number, A is a real number, B is a real number, C is also a real number. Right, we will see. Analyze the behavior of a function by considering its graph. We are going to analyze the behavior of the graph how to behave the graph according to the nature of the equation, how to behave the graph according to the nature of the equation. Here, straight line, as I discussed earlier, straight line, how to define a straight line, graphs of the form y equals mx plus c are defined as straight lines. You know the meaning of m, m is the gradient of the straight line, c is the intercept of the straight line. Here you know y means y coordinate, x means x coordinate, the number on x axis, the number on y axis, they are x coordinates, y coordinates. Then gradient, how to define the gradient? Gradient is the slope of the straight line with the positive direction of x axis. How to find out it? Difference of y coordinate divided by difference of x coordinate. Next one, c. The place where the straight line intersects the y axis, it means the place where straight line cuts the y axis, cut means intersection. Then solve the following simultaneous equations graphically. Now we are going to solve a pair of simultaneous equations using the graphical method. It means you have to draw two graphs, two straight lines according to the given equations. What is the standard form of a straight line? It means the equation, standard form of the equation of a straight line is y equals mx plus c. You have to arrange the given equation according to that form. Here x minus y equals minus 4, x minus y equals minus 4, 2 x minus y equals minus 3. Convert the above equations into the form of y equals mx plus c. It means you have to subject y here. How to subject y? You know you can change the side of minus y. You can change the side of minus y, then plus y equals x plus 4. Here after changing the side of minus y, you have plus y equals 2x plus 3. We will see it. 
x minus y equals minus 4, then y equals x plus 4. Then 2x minus y equals minus 3, y equals y equals 2x plus 3. Now, this is our first equation y equals x plus 4, then we can consider independent numbers, independent variable. You can select x coordinates according to the nature of the equation, right? x plus 4 here, x equals minus 1, x equals 0, x equals 1. If you want, you can change this value as minus 2, 0, plus 2. According to this minus 1, what is the y coordinate? Then you can substitute here minus 1 plus 4, minus 1 plus 4 plus 3. Here put 0 here, 0 plus 4, 4. Here 1, 1 plus 4, 5. Then this is your graph paper, this is your x axis. How to select x axis according to the given numbers minus 1, 0, 1 balance minus 1, 0, 1. If you have only positive values then no need to use negative side. It means left hand side from 0. You consider the range of x before drawing the x axis and the range of y before drawing the y axis. First you have to get set the system of axis, x axis and y axis according to the values of x and y. Here x axis, yes then y axis. Now, this is the scale. Now, you can mark points like this, minus 1 to 3, you can see minus 1 to 3, 0, 4, then 1, 5. Now, you can join. After joining, you have the straight line of the equation y equals x plus 4. Here y equals x plus 4. Next one y equals 2 x plus 3. This is your table of values of x. Then you can substitute when x equals minus 1. Here minus 2 plus 3. Minus 2 plus 3, 1. 0, 2 into 0, 0, 3. 2 into 1, 2 plus 3, 5. Now you can mark points like this, minus 1, 1, then 0, 3, 0, 3, we will see that point, 0, 3, then 1, 5. Common point you can see, common point, common point for two straight lines, common point for two straight lines. Then you have to find out that common point common point means, you know, 1 x equals 1 is common for these two equations, right? y equals 5 is common for these two equations, we will see. Now, the solution of x is plus 1, the solution of y is plus 5. What is the solution set for x and y? x equals 1, y equals 5. If you want to solve a pair of simultaneous equations using the graphical method, first step is drawing two straight lines in the same Cartesian plane. Then find out the common 
point, point of intersection of two straight lines, right. The x coordinate of the common point is the solution of x of the equation, y coordinate is the solution of y of the given equation. x coordinate means x value, y coordinate means y value. I suppose that you understood well, then we can consider our next part curved line graphs. What is the general form of the curved line graph? y equals a x squared plus b x plus c. Here I got 2016 all level question paper. This is essay type questions paper 2 part A question number 1 in 2016 new syllabus. An incomplete table prepared to draw the graph of the function y equals 4 minus x times x minus 2 is given below. x equals minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4. y minus 4 1 4 here blank 4 1 minus 4. Our first question find the value of y when x equals 1. This is the given equation y equals 4 minus x times x minus 2. Now substitute here 1. here minus 1 times 1 minus 2, 4, here you have in the bracket you have minus 1, minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1, finally you have y equals 5. Then this is the table of value. If you consider the range of x, positive part is larger than to the negative part, you have to pay the attention when drawing the x axis, the range of values of x. Here, minus 4, minus 4, plus 4, plus 4. The maximum value is 5. It is a useless drawing y axis more than positive 5 and less than minus 4. Using the scale of 10 small divisions as one unit along the x axis and along the y axis, draw the graph of the above function on a graph paper. This is the table of value, this is your graph paper, drawing x axis, x axis, then drawing y axis, yes, y, then this is the origin. Now scale, put in numbers on x axis and y axis, marking points, you know first point, second point, compare with this one, third point, next one 1 5, next one 2 4, x coordinate is 3, y coordinate is 1 x coordinate is 4, y is minus 4. Now we completed the curved line graph, smooth curve. This is a maximum curve, maximum one. Find the interval of values of x for which y is negative and decreasing, y is negative and decreasing, negative and decreasing. The condition is negative and decreasing, negative below the x axis, 
negative below the x axis y is totally negative. Negative and decreasing here negative but increasing negative and increasing part here negative and decreasing part. There is a range y less than minus 4, y greater than minus 4 less or equal to 1. Greater than, greater than means this line no? less or equal to 1. Therefore, you have to consider this range, this one. Now, you can see that here 3, here 4. Between 3 and 4, y is negatively here this part decreasing, y is decreasing in this range. Then we can find out the corresponding interval for x, x less than 4 greater than or equal to 3, the equal sign because of the condition less or equal to 1, because of that condition you have here also greater than or equal to 3. Remember that this is the piece of the curve. Next one, suppose that the given function is written in the form y equals minus x minus p square plus q, perfect square form, perfect square form of the curved line graph. Here we will see, indicate the point p comma q on the graph as m, what is p? What is p? P is the x coordinate of the turning point, x coordinate of the turning point according to the definition. What is q? That is the maximum value of the curved line graph, maximum value. Maximum value means y coordinate of the highest point, y coordinate of the highest point. Now, minus p plus q. If you have here minus p, you consider this is as p. p means the numerical value minus sign is by the definition. Therefore, p is the code x coordinate of the highest point, x coordinate of the highest point. Q we will see this is your m. x coordinate of the highest point is 1, y coordinate of the highest point is 5. This is how we identify the point m. Next one, using the graph, find the positive value of x such that x squared minus 2x equals 4 to the first decimal place. They ask find the positive value of x such that x squared minus 2x equals 4 to the first decimal point. It means we want to solve a quadratic equation using the curved line graph graphical method of solving a quadratic equation. Right, we will see x squared minus 2 x equals 4, then after change in the side you have 4 minus x squared plus 2 x equals 0, 4 minus x squared means after changing minus x squared plus 2 x. Here 4, you can see that x is common, x times x minus 2 equals 0. Now, you know that according to the given definition, this part is equal to y. 
then y equals 0. y equals 0 means you have to draw a straight line on the same Cartesian plane as y equals 0. Then you have to find out the common points of the curve and the y equals 0. Then you have common points. This is your axis. We want to draw this one y equals 0. Just you suppose a curve like this. This is the point. These are called the roots of the quadratic equation. Okay. Now, this value is a negative one, this is a positive one. Here there are two values 3.2 or 3.3. Then positive root, positive root of x squared minus 2x equals 4, 3.2 or 3.3, right? Both values can be considered as positive values. We do not consider negative values for this x coordinate according to the given condition of the paper, right. Now, next one, 2017 O-level paper 2 part A question number 1, first question based on the theme of algebra. This is your first question. An incomplete table values prepared to draw the graph of the function y equals x squared plus 4x minus 2. There are three types of equations of a quadratic function. There are three types of equations of a curved line graph. First one is quadratic form, quadratic form, quadratic form perfect square form and factor form. When drawing curved line graphs, there are three types of equations. First one, equations like this, y equals a x squared plus b x plus c, quadratic form. Then this one, x minus a squared here plus or minus, sometimes you may have here plus minus, then factor form x plus or minus a, x plus or minus b, quadratic form, perfect square form and factor form. Here you have a quadratic form. We will see, this is the table of value minus side is greater than to plus side. It means minus values spread up to minus 5 here plus 1. Uh, what about uh, range of y here minus 5? We will see that empty value first according to the question. Find the value of y when x equals minus 2 find the value of y when x equals minus 2, then you substitute minus 2 instead of x as a result of that minus 2 squared plus uh, 4 into minus 2, here minus 2, minus 2 squared 4 plus minus minus 8 minus 2, finally you have minus 6. Then this is the completed table of value. Using the scale of 10 small divisions representing one unit along the x axis and along the y axis, draw the graph of the above function on a graph paper. This is your table of values, this is your graph paper, x axis, here is x axis, then this is your y axis. 
named as y, these are the points up to minus 5, there are 5 units there, yes, numbers on y axis, this is your origin, common point for both axis. These are the numbers, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 1, 2, right. Marking points, first point, second point, minus 4, minus 2, third point, minus 3, minus 5, fourth one, minus 2, minus 6, minus 1, minus 5, 0, minus 2, 1, 3. Draw in the curve. Smooth curve. Answer the following questions using the graph. This is your graph. Minimum curved line graph, minimum one. This is your minimum point. Minus six is your minimum value of the straight, minimum value of the curved line graph. Minus six is the minimum value. Find the interval of value x for which y is negative and decreasing. y is negative, negative means below the x axis, negative and decreasing, negative and decreasing, this is the range negative below the x axis, decreasing part here, here negative and decreasing. If you consider here point A, consider here point B, A to B negative and decreasing. Just you consider this is as C, B to C negative and increasing piecewise functions. Okay. Now, how to find out the range? Here you can see minus 4.1, 2, here directly minus 2. Minus 4.4, minus 2. This is the range, minus 2 here, minus 4.4 minus 4.4, right. This is the range 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 4.4 here minus 2. X is greater than because you have to move to right hand side, therefore greater values. From minus 2, you have to move to left hand side, less than, left hand side, less than right hand side greater than. As a result of that, x greater than minus 4.4 less than minus 2. Next one, express the given function in the form y equals x plus a squared minus b, where a and b are two numbers, real numbers. Equation of axis of symmetry x equals minus 2. Equation of axis of symmetry, axis of symmetry, the line divides the curve into two equal parts. That is the axis of symmetry. How to define the axis of symmetry? The line which is divided the given curve into two equal parts axis of symmetry x equals minus 2. Then next one, minimum value minus c, minimum value means y coordinate of the lowest point minus 6. Then using the equation of axis of symmetry and minimum value, you can make the equation, you can make the equation. 
try to identify the pattern here. There is a special pattern. What is that? x equals minus 2 equation of axis of symmetry, then the minimum value. Then how to insert these values into the equation like this. Here can you see here y equals x plus 2. Here you have minus 2 from this place plus 2 minus 2 is converted into plus 2. It means we have to change the sign of the number. If the equation of axis of symmetry is x equals 1, if you have x equals 1, here you have to write x minus 1, here minus 2, here plus 2 try to get the difference and the definition, right. This is a special pattern. Here minimum value is minus 6, minus 6 is unchanged. If you have minimum value is plus 2, suppose the minimum value of the curve is 2, here also you have to do you have 2 here without changing, does not change the minimum value or maximum value when writing the equation of the curve. According to that x plus 2 squared minus 6. Now, Find the positive root of the equation x squared plus 4 x minus 2 equals 0 to the first decimal place and thereby find an approximate value for root 6. You can see that x squared plus 4 x minus 2 is same as to the equation of the curved line graph. As a result of that, you can find out x coordinates of the curved line graph when y equals 0, the common point, the point of intersection of the curve and the straight line is plus 0 0.4 because they ask about only the positive root. Therefore, 0 0.4 is the positive root plus or minus 0 0.1 means if you have 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 you will have the total marks, right. Now, we want to find out the value of root 6, positive root of 6. Then how to do it? When y equals 0, when y equals 0, you know that x equals 0 0.4. Therefore, put here 0 instead of x 0 0.4 plus 2 squared minus 6, right. Here 2.4, 0 0.4 plus 2 is 2.4 squared equals 6. Take square root on both sides, after that square root of 6 is equal to 2.4 plus or minus 2, 0 0.1 means if you have 2.5 for root 6 or 2.3 for root 6, you will have the total marks. That is a condition of the marking scheme. Okay, now we can consider our next question. Next one. In new syllabus 2018 O level, paper 2, part A, question number 3. This is your third question. Question number 3, this is an essay type question, you will have 10 marks for this question, right. You can answer this question, then you have 10 marks. Y is a quadratic function of x, there is an introduction, y is a quadratic function of x, an incomplete table containing the values of y corresponding to several values of x is given below, we will see it. This is the range of x, minus 1, 
0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the given corresponding values of y. Then uh, we want to find out y coordinate when x coordinate is 4. They will ask that as a question by considering the symmetry of the quadratic function obtain the value of y when x equals 4. Symmetry of the quadratic function. Symmetry. Then how to find out it like this? Symmetry. Minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 x coordinate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 x values. What is the middle value of x? 7 means fourth one. 1, 2, 3, 4. nearby to minus 3 you have minus 2 here also minus 2 this value 1 therefore this value also 1 third value is 6 here third value is 6 considering the symmetry you can find out y equals 1 when x equals 4 understood it right by considering the symmetry of the quadratic function. In this case, they did not use the substitution method. Using the standard system of axis and a suitable scale, draw the graph of the quadratic function on a graph paper based on the above table of values. This is your table of values. This is your graph paper, x axis, here your y axis, then marking points, before marking points the values on x axis, values on y axis, then you can give numbers like this. Both x axis and y axis. This is your first point, first one minus 1, 6, minus 1, 6. Second point, 0, 1. Third point, 1 minus 2. Third point, 2 minus 3. Next point, 3 minus 2, yes, 4, 1. Then 5, 6, they are the points. Then you can join them. Smooth curve. This is a minimum curve. This is a minimum curve. Right. Uh, we will see what are the questions based on uh, this curve. Describe the behavior of y as the value of x increases from 0 to 2 x increases from 0 to 2, x increases from 0 to 2. It means they ask about this range. Yes, how to describe? They ask describe the behavior of y as the value of x increases from 0 to 2, here 0, here 2, you can see positive and decreasing from 1 to 0, positive, positive and decreasing, 0, x equals 0 means you can see x equals 0, no? y is positive positive and decreasing. It is decreasing from 1 to 0, decreasing from 1 to 0, decreasing from 1 to 0. 
can you understand it? Decreasing from 1 to 0, that is the behavior of the curve, the value of x increases from 0 to 2, positive and decreasing from 1 to 0 here, this is our lowest point, therefore from 1 to minus 3 should be there. Therefore, 1 to 0 and 0 to minus 3. Right. Finally, from 1 to 1 to minus 3, positive and decreasing from 1 to minus 3, that is the behavior of the curve. Right. Negative and decreasing from 0 to minus 3. Okay. Now, part 4, express the quadratic function in the form y equals x minus a squared plus b. Can you remember in our last question, find out the equation of axis of symmetry x equals 2, x equals 2 here then minus 2, when writing the equation plus 2 will be converted into minus 2 and the minimum value minus 3. Equation of the axis of symmetry x equals 2, minimum value is minus 3. Now, y equals x here plus 2, no? then you have to put minus 2, plus 2 is converted into minus 2. Then y equals x minus 2 squared minus 3, the minimum value does not change minimum value does not change. Now, the part 5, y equals t is a straight line parallel to the x axis, parallel to the x axis, parallel to the x axis, there are two types of lines parallel to x axis. What is the interval in which t should lie on this straight line and the graph of the quadratic function to intersect two point with positive x coordinate. Positive x coordinate means definitely above the x axis, above the x axis. Above the x axis means greater than 0, less than 1. We have therefore, it should be the range. Okay, we will see it. For positive x values y less than 1, t should lie between 0 and 1, 0 and 1 according to the given two positive x coordinates this is the answer for that part. 2019 O level paper 2 part 1 question number 2. An incomplete table showing the y values corresponding to several x values of the quadratic function y equals x squared minus 2 x within the interval x greater than or equal to minus 2 and x less than or equal to 4 is given below. Right. This is the range of x minus 2 to plus 4, range of y 8 to 8. Then we can see our first question, find the value of y when x equals 3 x squared minus 2 x, then you can substitute 3 here, 3 squared minus 2 into 3, y equals 9 minus 6, y equals 3.
right? 3. Using the standard system of axis and a suitable scale, draw the graph of the quadratic function on the graph paper according to the above table of values. This is the table of values, your graph paper naming axis x and y, then marking points. After numbering, first point, now second point, third point, fourth one, that's fifth one. Now, you can draw the smooth curve like this. This is a minimum curve. Write the coordinates of the turning point of the graph. Turning point, turning point, vertex. Coordinate of the vertex is the turning point. This is a minimum curve, therefore, minimum point is your turning point or the vertex of the graph. 1 minus 1, x coordinate is 1, y coordinate is minus 1, that is your turning point. You can see it, then express the given quadratic function in the form y equals x minus a squared plus b, here a and b are two numerical values. Equation of axis of symmetry, always you have to use the equation of axis of symmetry, x equals 1 you have to change the sign of 1, then a equals minus 1, a equals minus 1, right, a equals minus 1, because in this place you have to put after changing the sign of 1. Minimum value minus 1, therefore, b should be minus 1. Then what is the equation, y equation, y equals y equals x minus 1 squared minus 1. Equation of axis of symmetry, minimum value a equals 1, b equals minus 1, then you can write the given equation as y equals x minus 1 squared after changing the sign x minus 1 squared minus 1 minimum value does not change. Write the interval of values of x on which the function increases within the interval y greater than minus 1 less or equal to 3, y greater than minus 1 less or equal to 3, this is the range. We will see, this is the range, x greater than 1 less or equal to 3, x greater than 1 less or equal to 3, in this range, y greater than minus 1, y greater than minus 1 less than 3 here. You can see the interval x greater than 1, x greater than 1 and less or equal to 3, greater than 1, less or equal to 3. This is the range. This is our last part of the question. I stop the lesson now. Graph part 1 and part 2 we have completed in our revision program. We discuss the essential learning concept of straight line and basic curved line and applications of curved line graphs. We suppose that you have learned so many facts based on straight lines and curved line 
graphs as well as how to solve a pair of equation and a quadratic equation using the graphical method. We will meet again with a new maths revision program. Goodbye to all.